It is December 14th of 2017. Robert J. Moore speaking at the police board meeting. This is the component. Pardon? Oh, sorry. I don't, you know what? I'm not sure how the light works, but anyway, or does it work? Uh, but this is, we're now doing the whole room because there's a very important issue here. That is that all government officials here, I'm not sure what the burden is, but if everyone can hear what's being said, everyone that's a government representative is responsible for what they hear. And no one can legitimately claim invincible ignorance in regard to various developments. Here's the first purpose of this. So after identifying the enslavement extermination apparatus, recognize that within that, there's not what Frankel referred to as a fifth column, but there's probably a seventh or eighth column that is the place of what Frankel referenced as the fifth column. The very important point I need to get is the, first of all, protocols for the securement of the body of a citizen who would end up dead in regard to whose death any number of a nominal government entities would kind of be chief suspects as to the cause of death either as the direct perpetrator or as participants, so that the crime evidence cannot be modified, the body not cremated, uh, to make certain that all the labors of a given individual's tour of duty don't die with him. Had this been in place in Lincoln, Garfield, McKinley, John F. Kennedy, Martin Luther King, Robert F. Kennedy, all these other deaths, if protocols have been in place, the Franklin cover-up, Kenneth Trenadu, uh, the Terrence Eakey, Richard Lee Guthrie, all these alleged suicides, all these alleged instances in which there was an instigation of government um, uh, conduct that resulted in the death of the dissident, then we could get investigations of the body, as Jesse Trenadu did in the death of his brother, Kenneth Trenadu, to demonstrate that it was physically impossible that this guy actually committed suicide. He was mistaken for Richard Lee Guthrie. He had nothing to do with the bombs in Oklahoma City. Richard Lee Guthrie did. Richard Lee Guthrie ended up dead sometime afterwards in an incarceration setting, also alleged suicide, as was the roommate of Kenneth Trenadu. So the point is, I need protocols. Are you familiar with this issue at all, Mr. Superintendent? Because it's an issue of superintendent, a super eminent importance. What could be done right now that if my body's found dead or the body of anyone else is similarly concerned to make sure that that evidence is preserved? Thank you, Mr. Moore. I have to admit, I'm not familiar. Is there any way I could contact you as an email address? Mr. Gian Camilli is no longer here. Do you get emails from Mr. Gian Camilli? Yes. Okay, so I can presume that if he receives it and doesn't bounce back, that you got it. All right, because this is if we start plugging the thing at the back, we can then work backwards and correct the rest of the problems. That's as far as I'm out of time, right? You I, po I apologize for the flashlight. I'm just, I, I buy phones, I lose them, I buy the next phone. By the time I figure out how the flashlight works, Christ will have returned, hopefully. But anyway, I do apologize for that. Mm -hmm. No, there's, there's, no, 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 that, that, I, I think that's, that's, that's not mine. Thank so at this time, all the persons who signed the hands of the people who recognize. All those in favor? Aye. Any opposed? The motion passes. Happy holidays, everyone. Uh, yeah.